Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's eLearning Challenge recap, number 99, Branching Scenarios in eLearning. It's another fantastic week of examples. Currently the uh, blog article recap says 18, but we actually just got 19, so we are at 19 examples for the week. Remember the challenges are still open. We'll always update the recap to include your entry. But as of today, September 24th, on Thursday, this is what we have so far for the week, and we're gonna go ahead and get started with the recap. First up is Linda, who did a really cool job based on a an idea or concept shared by Kathy Moore. Um, I don't see the post, I didn't see the first original post, but the idea is you're training service personnel how to properly load a tray. And so your idea, the idea here is you need to drag certain items to the tray. And here's what I really like. Not only do you have the uh, placement of the objects, but regardless of where I place the item, I'm getting this sort of this extra little, are you sure kind of question. So I really like that you ask, that she asked the learners to uh, validate their answers or justify it before actually submitting. So really cool example here for, uh, from Linda for this week's scenario examples. Next up is Phil Mayer's Enter the Ninja, which was the 2015 Guru winner. So you'll definitely want to check this one out. There's a lot going on in it. A uh, really good example of gamified scenarios with a lot of progress meters, practice activities. There's just a lot going on in this course. So uh, definitely check this out. We have this both in the uh, examples hub as well as the guru announcement article. And then of course, also in the challenge recap. So just another fantastic example. And speaking of guru winners, Nancy also shared her guru winning course, Robot Wars. So another example of, well, it's actually a little bit more complicated example, but another good example of gamified elements that feature branching uh, elements in it. Also uh, customization in terms of how you can build your robots. Uh, a lot of things going on in this cool example from Nancy. So definitely check this one out uh, when you get a chance. But um, as much as I want to sit here and play this again, I've built a few robots with this one. Um, real well done again, Nancy. And I will restart this one. One more from Nancy. This is an example she's done a little while ago, but it's a really great example for a, a scenario in that it's sort of a detective game. You actually have to discover who stole uh, the bicycle. And so you're led on a series of uh, interviews or questions that you have to answer to solve the uh, crime. So another good example of branching scenarios, this time also again from Nancy. And next up is Rachel Barnum's example. Cool example for First day on the job, enter my name, another good way to personalize the uh, examples. And you get to pick your avatar, right? Who do you want to be for the first day? I like that little guy. And ready for the first day. So you're actually given a series of um, scenarios and you're put into a situation as a new police officer and you need to make choices based on uh, the situation you're placed in. So another good example of branching scenarios and e-learning. Love the graphics in this one too. Really, really nicely done. And the next example is from a first-time challenger, Todd Troost, who created, let me turn the volume down just a bit, a really cool scenario around uh, being an effective team member. One thing I really liked about this example, besides what, what Todd shared, was just how he introduced himself and reached out to the community. He submitted an earlier version of this and got some really good feedback, really good constructive feedback from the community. Todd then went back and applied some of those, uh, those, those comments and then uh, updated, shared an updated version of his scenario. So welcome to the challenges, Todd, and really glad that you are uh, joining us. And this next example is from Dong Sui, who shared his project scope management essentials. Cool example of scenarios as well as some more gamified elements. Seen a lot of gamified examples this week where you actually have to complete a uh, first level before you can actually move on to uh, additional level. So really like that approach as well. But um, this project scope management interaction, basically you're given a series of interactions, answer them correctly, and you're able to move on through each chapter. So really cool example this week. And I'm going to need to scroll on this one a little bit. This is from first time challenger Brian Keys. So here we go with the first example. Haven't seen a lot of service or restaurant hospitality type examples, but really great to see this one. Um, basically, it's for servers. How do you greet and stand and really just interact with your customers as they come in? Really like this, so you begin with your greeting, you're given a few choices, and you get feedback um, based on each of the choices you make. So a uh, really great example, and really happy to have you in the challenges, Brian. 
Next up is Diane. Let me make sure this fits in our window, okay? I'm kind of trying to record at a fixed size here. But um, everyone's favorite avatar at Sumi is asked to complete a series of challenging situations. And the first example, it's at Sumi the babysitter. So you're going to get a series of uh, questions on what would you do, right? Some child goes missing or you're in charge of them. What do you do? And you basically get a series of choices based on the choice you make. Uh, you'll receive feedback and uh, just a really elegant example. And what I also like about it, one more thing, is that it really isn't that complicated. It's a lot of kind of simple graphics. You have Atsumi, the character changes, obviously, positions, but a really simple navigation um, menu choices here for what do you do? What should you do next? And what do you continue to do based on um, each of the steps that you take? So a really good example there, Diane. Now I need to come down here and get Veronica's. I didn't load hers pr uh, first because she has background audio. So she did a really cool uh, trick for adding background to the uh, web page. And there's a link to that in the actual description. But what she did was uh, inserted a little uh, MP3 or MP4 file to kind of create this persistent background uh, sound here. But essentially, you are an engineer and a bridge has collapsed and you're now placed in a series of uh, uh, situations to help repair the bridge and you're here to basically get the, a quick overview of what happened and then you're thrown into the actual situation by making the uh, appropriate choices. So really cool the, uh, a, a scenario from Veronica this week. I'm going to go ahead and close that while the, uh, the music continues. And I think we are... Ah, so Alexander, right? He shared a couple examples this week. This is a little bit older one but it has some nice elements in it. First off, I like the on-screen navigation, so I can actually start to move around. But essentially, you're going to now interact with a hospitality uh, situation. Uh, let me go ahead and click one more time. Customer's gonna give you a situation. You need to make choices based on uh, what the customer is saying. What kind of fa facial expression would you give here? You certainly don't wanna do the unsmiley face, the I don't really care face, or I'm pretty happy to see you. And it continues. So really good example here uh, from one of Alex's two examples this week. And next up is Virac's leadership style quiz. So you get an opportunity to uh, practice leadership styles in this scenario quiz. So it begins by asking you to, to enter your name. And from there, you're going to define leadership. What I also like is how it actually gives me the opportunity to tell um, answer whether I think I know leadership style or not, right? If I don't know it, then I'm going to get some background information. And if I do like it, then I'm going to be put into a scenario to test and see what I do know. So a uh, really neat example here um, from Virac. And the freelancers will appreciate Claudia's example. Basically, should you work for free? And it has a series of branching questions to help you determine whether or not you should work from free, work for free. So what I really like here, first off, is just the transitions. So each of those choices will transition in a different direction based on its, its placement on the slide. Did they promise you? They promise you, yes, don't do it. So next time you uh, apply for one of the jobs that you see in the Jobs Hub or someone posts an offer in the, the forums, maybe break out this little uh, job aid to uh, quickly determine whether or not you should work for free, if they're offering it. Most times I think people People offer to, offer to pay, but sometimes they, uh, they like to see what they can get. And another retail example. Really like the retail examples this week. A couple things going on here. Uh, first off, you sort of have a client mood, uh, moodometer, a progress meter in terms of, of how well they're feeling. Right now it's kind of neutral, right? You can tell, normal. And basically you're making a series of choices as you uh, interact with the customer. So may I help you make a choice? What exactly are you looking for? And so you keep going through each of these and you get feedback based on your choices and it could tell us you could have done more and, and moves you through each of those. So I like the feedback, I like the different choices, and I certainly like the, uh, uh, the retail scenarios. We don't see a lot of that, so really cool to see some retail and restaurant examples this week. All right, next up is this scenario from Gerard using toys, Legos, really cool concept here. But he plays off of Michael Allen's CCAF model to put you in a series of scenarios using Lego characters. So I really like this idea, like how he kind of blurs the background for each of the characters, puts them in a uh, situation, 
going to cook for you. And then going forward, you're going to get um, some things going to happen, right? Oh, there's a fire. What are you going to do? So really great example. Make sure you check out uh, his blog post on how he put this together, too. There's a lot of uh, a good info in it. So another good example this week. Okay, so what a great example here. Very well designed from Karen. It's a beautiful comic book inspired uh, scenario. Really like the graphics, the way she laid out the panels here. But essentially your scenario is, your situation is, hey, you know, your character's had maybe too much to drink. What do you do? You try to drive home, get a friend, call Uber. Uber is always a great choice. And basically walks you through some uh, decisions as well as feedback for the choices you make. So really, really great example here from Karen. Okay, so Roan has just completed his 10th class. He scored pretty well, but apart from his studies, he really wants to help get some help making the right career choice. So you get a little information, background information about him, and you're making a series of choices to help him move forward in his career. So really, really like the topic in this, this example here. So uh, check this one out. Thank you so much. And next up is Rachel's example, another retail example. Love all the retail examples this week but here's the situation dave comes in he's got a pair of dress shoes needs a pair of dress shoes you notice some some things going on with his feet what do you do so help the salesperson make the recommendation for uh their customers what an awesome example with a lot of possibilities here so we might need to do a future retail based um, challenge uh, that wasn't the right option i obviously can't narrate and make the proper choices at the same time so that's good to know and this final example is from Alexander. <laughs> so, there's a lot of stuff going on in this one. But um, first off, he brought his timers back, and you'll see some uh, timers here. But essentially, you need to answer a series Ready. of questions. Fight! <laughs> and get your stock characters to fight. So, cool uh, concept, but also helps you uh, see how well you know about storyline, right? So there's three different states, right? The normal, the fight side, the fight strike, and if you get struck. Here's my timer, it's coming down. I better stop talking here. What is this? This is what it states. And did I get it correct? Oh, I didn't submit it. <laughs> All right, so I- Super genius. Super genius. And we continue, but a uh, pretty neat little concept. If you miss it, right? The interaction above is known as, it's a drag and drop. And we'll submit it and it sends it right back to her. Ow. So if you uh, have any questions about some of the features and storyline, definitely give this one a uh, look, yeah, it's got some uh, some fun things. Also check out Alexander's blog post on this one because he has some uh, good info on how he put all this together. So that's it for this week. Remember, the challenge is still open. I'll, I'll always update your examples as quickly as possible. So please, if you have an idea for a branching scenario, if you want to be our 20th example, go ahead and submit it and I'll get it updated in the next day. But thanks again to everyone who shared an example, shared comments, participated, or even just lurked and gleaned some ideas. We really appreciate the fact that you stopped by. So have a great week, and we'll see you for Challenge 100 tomorrow.